Hi everybody, my name is Brooke Schreier and I work with the Ontario Federation of Angus and Hunters in the Invading Species Awareness Program. Today we came down to the water to see if we could find some invasive Eurasian water milfoil and sure enough, peeked in the water and saw those distinct red stems, so we knew that there was some Eurasian water milfoil. So this plant here was actually introduced to Ontario, uh, Lake Erie specifically, in 1961 via ballast water and is now one of the most widespread aquatic invasive plants across the province. The plant itself actually prefers to grow in waters that are about one to three meters deep, but it can actually be found upwards of 10 meters deep within the water column. It's very fast growing and will quickly shade out native species and will make recreating as a boater and an angler very challenging. It also makes swimming nearly impossible. In addition to that, because of the large dense mass that it grows, it creates very stagnant waters in some areas. And then come the fall, when the plants die off, as they do in the fall, um, it actually can create an anoxic environment, which is an environment with depleted oxygen, as the decomposing plants kind of suck out all the oxygen out of the water, causing a threat to our native fish species. To identify Eurasian water milfoil on your shoreline, First, you're gonna probably notice a very dense monoculture of aquatic weeds in a certain area. And standing from your dock or your shoreline, you'll most likely see red stems towards the surface. And then if you actually pull out one of those weeds and then put it on your dock and take a closer look, you'll notice that it has these leaves that are in a whirl around the stem in four to five leaves, right? So typically four, but sometimes you'll see five. In addition to that, if you look at the each, each individual leaf and you spread it out, if you count 12 segments on one side of the leaf, then you definitely have Eurasian water milfoil. So 12 or more uh, leaf segments and you have Eurasian water milfoil. Now in contrast to that, if you have less than 12, you most likely have the native, which is northern milfoil. So considering all the impacts that this species has had on our waters here in Ontario, it just proves how essential it is for boaters and anglers and recreationists who are coming off the water to do clean drain dry, right? Do a physical inspection of your vessel, do a walk around, make sure that you're pulling off any weeds that you see. It doesn't matter if you think that they're native or invasive, just pull them off, make sure you're not spreading those elsewhere. And then drain any standing water that's in your vessel, so your live well, your bilge. Um, there are microscopic organisms, invasive species like zebra mussels and spiny water fleas, which can be in that water. So make sure that you, you empty out all your water. And then if you have time, make sure you dry your vessel for at least five days.